Okay, how to create a video thumbnail for YouTube uh, with GIMP. Uh, looking at the YouTube video dimensions, they need to be 120 by 720. And that's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And, and here's a little trick. If you just divide 16 by 9, you get the get what you need to know, for, uh, which you'll use in GIMP shortly. So what I'm going to do is take a picture which is relevant to the video, which is me right now using uh, using GIMP, and I'm going to scale it down to what YouTube needs, and I'm probably going to add a nice sort of uh, title too. So let's crop it to 177, 177, da, 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 something like, see, oh, let me just put this in single window mode, so it's a bit more fun. Easier for me. Brain. Uh, okay, 177. That should be enough. Don't think it has to be perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect. There's me. There's GIMP. Then I need to scale it down to 120. 120. Okay, that should be fine. Don't. Then I'm gonna sort of. Get it so it fits into my window a bit better. Right. Perfect. Text tool. Uh, let's go for some fun, fun font. Let's go for something big. Let's go for a nice, nice color to begin with. Um, how to uh, create a YouTube video thumbnail using GIMP. So let's spread that out a bit. Let's make it bigger. I mean the bigger the better here, really. Um, let's there's an alignment tool here. But you the trick is that you have to select that again and then boom and then boom. Oh it's still way too big. Okay, back to the text tool. Back to the text tool. Um, let's make it smaller. Oops. Let's make it smaller. Back to the alignment tool. Is it that one? Yep. Select it. Move it down. Um, hmm, this is a bit fiddly. Uh, also, actually, go back to the text tool. I think I want to center it. Looks better to me. Yeah, yeah. Back to alignment. Select, align, align. Uh, that will do. Okay. Next thing you can do is is uh, right click on the layers here and go alpha to selection, and then go select grow. I think four pixels is a good one. Then you add a new layer. Um, let's choose a color like something dark, like black. Uh, fill in the layer. Where's the bucket tool? There. S and then you bring that layer behind. And you get like a shadow. Uh, see, isn't that fun? That's how you do it. I wish it was easier. And that's that's it basically. So now I'm going to just sort of export that. I'm going to call it YouTube uh, GIMP thumbnail. Export that and let's have a quick look. YouTube GIMP thumbnail. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. And uh, let me identify it. Let's see if it's roughly this right dimensions. I think uh, I think YouTube will be able to handle that from there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, and hopefully that will help you. Um, if you have any tips for me, how I could have done that easier, please let me know. I'm no GIMP expert, but this is uh, how I did it.